The next question. Assalamu alaikum. May Allah bless you with a long life. My name is Medina from Canada. Are women allowed to work or take up a job in Islam? Before I give the reply to this question, I would like to mention an important point. In Islam, the man, the husband is the bread earner of the family. Before marriage, it is the duty of the father and the brother to look after the lodging, boarding, clothing and all the financial aspects. Whereas after marriage, it is the duty of the husband and the son to look after the lodging, boarding, clothing and the financial aspects. So it is the man who is responsible for the financial aspects. A woman need not work. But if a woman wishes to work, she may work. But no one can force her. And whatever she earns, she can keep it for herself. She is not obliged to give it to anyone. Now coming to the question that can a woman do a job in Islam? A woman can do any job but she should see to it that it is within the purviews of the Islamic Sharia. She does not break any rule of the Islamic Sharia. She should maintain her hijab and modesty. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Surah Nur chapter number 24 verse number 31 Say to the believing woman that she should lower her gaze and guard her modesty and display not her beauty except what is ordinary thereof and tell her to draw her veils over bosoms and display not her beauty except in front of their husbands, their fathers, their sons and there is a big list of mehrams of close relatives who you cannot marry. There are basically six criteria for hijab that are mentioned in the glorious Quran and authentic hadith of our Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. The first, it is the extent for the man and for the woman. For the man, it is from the navel to the knee. For the woman, it is the complete body should be covered. The only parts that can be seen are the face and the hands up to the wrist. The remaining five criteria are same for the man and for the woman. The second, the clothes they wear, it should be loose. It should not be tight fitting. It should not reveal the figure. The third, it should not be translucent or transparent. The fourth, it should not be so glamorous that it attracts the opposite sex. The fifth, it should not be that of the opposite sex. And the sixth is that it should not resemble that of the unbelievers. These are basically six criteria for hijab. The woman, when she's doing any job, any work, she should see to it that she maintains her hijab and modesty. A woman should not work in a place where there is intermingling of the opposite gender. Wherever she works, there should be separate premises for men and separate premises for women. There should be proper segregation of the opposite gender. A woman cannot do any job that is haram. That is prohibited in Islam. For example, serving alcohol. Certain haram jobs are prohibited for the woman as well as for the man. A woman, she cannot take up a profession or a job such as dancing, modeling, singing, etc. Because in this, she cannot maintain her hijab and her body is exposed. So she should not do any job that is haram. She should maintain her hijab and her modesty but there is a very important point that whenever she is doing any job she should see to it that she does not break any rules of the sharia as i mentioned earlier and first thing she should focus on her obligations if she is a wife she should focus on her obligations as a wife and she should focus her obligations as a mother because the best responsibility for a woman is the role of a wife and the role of a mother regarding the upbringing of her children. She should give the right tarbiyah and education to her children. And she can take up jobs such as teaching, counseling. She can become a gynecologist. Being a gynecologist is a good job because in this situation, a woman is needed. 
She can teach in an Islamic institute, in an Islamic school. So all these jobs, they are good for a woman. But she should see to it that she does not break her hijab. There is no intermingling of the opposite gender. And there are separate premises for the men as well as separate premises for the woman. If she takes care of these things, then inshallah the job that she does, it is permitted and there should not be a problem in that.